So basically we want to stress that Ocean Conservancy is hosting this event. They're the oldest marine conservation nonprofit in the nation and the world actually. So they do an international coastal cleanup every year where they try to get plastic off our beaches and then cigarette butts add to that plastic. So we'll first have um, Senator Gruder speak about his proposed bill, uh, you know, to ban smoking on beaches and parks. And then we'll have J.P. Brooker with Ocean Conservancy. He's the director of Florida Conservation. And then we have Aaron Ernst, who's a local artist here in Sarasota, who cares deeply, you know, about conserving our environment, the beaches. She's done a lot of cleanups with her daughter's Girl Scouts group. And so she actually made the, the cigarette butts. And her kids helped on Christmas break as kind of a, a learning experience um, to teach them about what you yep. can do to make a difference. All right, so we'll kick things off now with Senator Gruders, and then if you guys have questions afterward, we can yep. take questions, we'll or we can pull people aside for one-on-one -on -one interviews. Yep. All right, Senator Gruders, you go ahead and take the panel. Karen, do you want to wait like two minutes? Someone just got Oh, they just got, okay. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. yeah, we can wait. Yeah, one we'll walk around, yeah, no, two wait. minutes. Awesome. Say, uh, you know, I had a great break. This is your last day off from school. Yeah, so yeah. They go to the classroom after. Okay. I'd like to thank everybody for coming today. It's obviously we're on the, in the country's uh, number one beach, uh, a ranking that is important to everybody in this community as a result of the tourism that it drives. And one of the efforts we've done over the course of the last couple of years in the legislature is try to ban cigarette butts. Obviously, you can see uh, all these butts that were collected just right here from the podium just over the last couple of minutes. Uh, all these cleanup days that we do year after year, the number one issue, the number one item that's always find on the beaches is cigarette butts. And it's the filters in these butts that get into turtles' noses that are collected. And that's all around just an absolute disgusting thing when you go to the beach. I always say uh, we want freedom, but at the same time, we want quiet and peaceful enjoyment of families being able to go out there and go to the beach uh, without putting their hands in the sand and picking up some of these cigarette butts. It's just, to me, it's uh, uh, the wrong butts that we want. And uh, the, 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 over the course of the last couple of years here in Sarasota, it's, it, this is, these are the beaches that resulted in the lawsuit that was filed uh, because uh, we took the initiative, I think, 15 year plus years ago to ban smoking on beaches and it was uh, then kicked out by the ACLU and the court system uh, because local governments didn't have the ability or the right to, to prohibit smoking on the beaches. Uh, the reason why that's such a big issue is because Dr. Beach, who has ranked Sarasota beaches and Florida beaches in the top 10 consistently over the last 20 years, it creates a mass, it has a massive impact on the economy because of tourism that it creates every time a beach ends up in that top 10 spot. And Dr. Beach has said over and over again that beaches that prohibit smoking will be ranked higher. And there's no reason why we shouldn't give Florida beaches the best possible chance uh, to be the, the highest ranked uh, the, and get the highest rankings uh, at the end of the day. And so for me, and for the community of Sarasota, which already tried to uh, ban some of these cigarette butts, uh, I think this legislation this year has the best opportunity that we've ever had to actually pass this and get this across the finish line. 
This doesn't mean that, uh, that we're going to ban smoking on all beaches and parks throughout Florida. This will just give the power and return the ability of local governments and give them the chance to do what's best for their communities. Uh, they could have designated smoking zones on the beach, so uh, everybody that wants to smoke together, uh, they could all be the, uh, in a designated smoking zone. And so for everybody that wants to go do that, um, they could have that secondhand smoke together. Because when you bring your families and you bring communities and we have tourists from around the world coming to visit our beaches, the last thing we want to do is interrupt the quiet enjoyment of that family and uh, ending, ending up having their kids uh, reach in the sand and grab these butts that we don't want. Let's, uh, let's get the butts uh, off the beach, the bad butts, and let's do everything we can for our community. I want to personally thank the Ocean Conservancy and all the groups that are with us and our wonderful artists who came up with this creation behind us. Uh, this is the year to make this happen. Florida is the leader on the environment uh, right now. And I think with this bill and the passage of this bill, we'll take the first step of making sure that our beaches are consistently ranked in the top 10 by Dr. Beach. Uh, but more importantly, we'll help all of our tourists that come here and visit our beach and our local residents enjoy the beach without having that secondhand smoke and without having the, 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 the trash and the litter that everybody uh, discussed when they put their hands in the sand. So with that, I'll turn it back over and I just appreciate everybody for coming out today and we're gonna pass this bill this year. Come on back here. So thank you, Senator Gruters. And on behalf of Ocean Conservancy, uh, we stand in full support of this bill which will allow counties and municipalities to ban smoking on their beaches um, and in their parks. During the Ocean Conservancy's annual international coastal cleanup, which we've hosted every year for more than 35 years, um, we regularly find cigarette butts as the top item. In fact, our data point shows that for 31 years, 31 consecutive years, cigarette butts have been the number one item found on Florida beaches. Um, that outpaces other types of single-use plastics, bottle caps, um, plastic bags, things like that. Cigarette butts are always there, and as Senator Gruters pointed out, in just five seconds we've collected a handful of butts right here on this beach. Um, but we just can't allow this to continue. You know, in a single year when we clean up 200,000 cigarette butts from our beaches during our cleanup, um, we need to do everything we can to keep those cigarette butts off the beach, out of the environment, out of the ocean, um, and uh, ensure that Florida's uh, clean, healthy beaches stay that way. Um, I'm going to point out three data points um, and three factors that really cigarette butts contribute to. And the first one is plastic pollution. A lot of folks don't really recognize that cigarette butts are fundamentally a form of plastic. It's called cellulose acetate. It's a bundle of fine little strands of plastic. And um, that plastic can, can get into the sand and it takes some years to degrade uh, to the point where it finally does degrade into microplastics. And those microplastics um, actually can get into the uh, uh, wildlife, it can get into fish, which we then consume. Um, in fact, a study has shown that 60% of fish caught have some form of microplastic in them. Um, and I think it's worth noting that it can also bioaccumulate in shellfish. And in fact, um, people like us who, Floridians who consume shellfish and fish, we're actually consuming that plastic. And every year, uh, Americans consume an amount of plastic in the form of microplastics that's about the size of a credit card. You're eating that amount of plastic on an annual basis. Um, the second item that I'd point out is uh, the impacts to wildlife. Um, so not so much the fact that the plastic bioaccumulates and then we consume it, but it actually harms the animals themselves. We've all seen the picture of uh, you know, a sandpiper feeding a cigarette butt to its baby. That's heartbreaking, um, and uh, that's simply not right. Um, and we need to do everything we can to protect our sea turtles, our marine mammals, um, and our seabirds. And then third, the overall environmental impact. Plastic in the sand can actually be extremely harmful to nesting sea turtles. Um, the plastic will actually act as a heat sink 
and it will accumulate additional heat in the sand. Sea turtle nests requ require an even temperature in order to determine the sex ratio of the sea turtles. Um, that extra heat will have sea turtle nests that are all the same sex, which will have great impacts on the overall reproductivity of these sea turtles. Um, so that's something that we just can't abide as Floridians, you know, when the uh, uh, clean and healthy beaches of the state contribute $40 billion to the annual GDP for Florida. We want to make sure that this is an asset and a resource that we're protecting, and this uh, legislation that Senator Gruders has brought will uh, hopefully go a long way in doing that. Um, so I'm going to pass it off to our artist who's done this wonderful uh, installation here for us, and thank you all so much for coming out. Hi, I'm Erin Ernst, a local Sarasota artist, and I created these sculptures back here with the help of my kids who are home on uh, winter break. Um, I was born here, Sarasota, grew up here, my kids are born here, and we love our beaches and care deeply about the environment. So when I found the opportunity to create these sculptures, I figured this was for us. Um, so as a mother, um, you know, it was really great to work with the kids and show them how we could take little steps to help protect our environment and the marine life and keep our beaches beautiful so we can come here. Actually, on the way over from the parking lot, the kids pointed out 15 different cigarette butts on the ground. So it's definitely an issue we've noticed. Um, as a family, we've done a lot of the county beach cleanups and in our Girl Scout troop, we've done a lot of them and we've always noticed the number one thing we find are the cigarette butts. So um, anyway, I'm. I'm glad this issue is being brought to the forefront and I hope that we can reduce the amount of cigarette butts and plastic pollution out on our beaches. And uh, thank you for having me here. Uh, Aaron Ernst, e it's Aaron, E-R-I-N, last name is E-R-N-S-T. Yep, thank you. Thanks again, everyone, for coming. Does anyone have any questions or? Okay. Listen, I think we already had a hearing. I think that the momentum is building, and I think that we have so many different stakeholders now that have signed on to this bill. Uh, uh, I'm confident in our ability to, to push this hopefully through the Senate and the House and we obviously have a governor that's that's heavily focused on the environment and I think that uh, he's seen this bill and I think he likes it and so uh, but I think that the support is there this year in Tallahassee and I'm optimistic that we're gonna be able to pass a bill what about rights? listen I'm all for rights and they're gonna be able to bring up their issues in front of their local governments. Because at the end of the day, all we're doing is we're kicking back the decision and giving local governments the ability to control what happens in their in their local beaches and the state in the parks uh, that they control. And, uh, and just like when you go to restaurants or indoor facilities, they have uh, uh, designated smoking areas. And I think the beaches will probably end up with similar type situations. And so listen, all the smokers that like to smoke can get together and smoke together as a team. Uh, but there should, we shouldn't uh, the infringe on the ability of everybody else that goes to the beach uh, in their uh, quiet and, 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 and peaceful enjoyment of enjoying Florida's most precious resource, and that's our beaches and uh, our waterways. And so I'm optimistic that this is going to pass, and, and I respect people's individual rights to smoke, but uh, I think that will be handled with, des with designated smoking areas. I think the enforcement's going to start at as little as $25 fines, and the enforcement will be taken care of at the local level. So your local police and sheriffs and those that monitor the beaches. And, uh, and I think we should uh, step up and double the enforcement. And I think what you'll see in like beaches like Sarasota, because we've already passed this in Sarasota, and I think people want to see it happen. And I think what you'll likely see is a, uh, a, a public awareness campaign to let people know right away. Uh, because people litter other things besides cigarette butts, but it's like, uh, just like uh, JP mentioned, it's uh, when you go to these cleanup days, they literally have buckets and buckets of these cigarette butts. And it's a, and it's so easy 
uh, for people just to, to toss it and to bury it into the sand. And so uh, it, I would imagine a public awareness campaign first and then a stepped up enforcement of the littering law specifically as it relates to the cigarette butts. Yes. Well, that's it. We want the, the bad butts off the beach. And I think that, listen, as a community and as uh, the, you talk about the, the GDP and the, the economic activity that the tourism creates, uh, it benefits everybody, uh, in the spe specifically the tourists that come in and even the locals that come back to the beach on a consistent basis. Uh, uh, and I just want to thank the artist for her rendering and bringing her family. I'm also a native and my kids are also on break. And it's important that people are still have the ability to bring their family in a, an environment where they're not going to be faced with a secondhand smoke. And so uh, I think at the end of the day, uh, communities will rally around this. And uh, the, the police that I've talked to, uh, I think, um, uh, 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 are aware that it's easy to miss a lot of things. But I think with the public awareness campaign and then some hopefully uh, aggressive enforcement at the beginning, we can curb this right away and, and put all of Florida beaches in a position where we can start winning these uh, rank, you know, getting the top 10 in these rankings again, because it helps out so many people. Obviously, tourism is not an issue right now because Florida is the, uh, the, the land of freedom and opportunity. Uh, but I think as we get into more normal environment where we have to compete with beaches from around the world, uh, those Dr. Beach rankings are so important to the economies of these uh, destination uh, beaches around the state of Florida. We want to give our uh, the, the beaches the best chance to compete year in, year out. Well, it's, it's a great question. You would think that like, giving local governments the ability to ban uh, 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 smoking on their beaches and local parks would be an easy thing to pass, but it's a uh, obviously we haven't done a good enough job of educating our colleagues on the importance uh, enough. Uh, but I think that we actually have the momentum and there's sometimes there's special interest groups that get involved and uh, they want to continue to allow smoking. And obviously you talked about it before and what we heard uh, from one of the previous questions is uh, the freedom of in in individual rights of smokers. And, and I don't want to infringe on their right, but at the same time, I don't want uh, smokers to infringe on the rights of families trying to enjoy the beach in a quiet and safe way. And so I think there's a way to do both and that's kick it back to the local governments and give them a chance to, to set up designated smoking areas so they can continue to smoke. And this bill has progressed over the years. First, you know, what we try to do at the beginning is we try to have a, just a flat out ban of smoking in beaches and parks. Uh, that's uh, the, the tough because some communities want to continue to allow smokers. Uh, but I think in my community, our community here in Sarasota, uh, where they've already tried to ban it, I think it's a great opportunity to allow them and give them the ability to do what's best for the overall community. And, uh, and as a result, now we have designated smoking areas. Uh, we have the ability to, to set up different zones and, and, and really give full control back to local governments and give them the ability to do what they think is right. That's why I think it's uh, bills different this year. I think we have momentum. I think we've already uh, uh, heard this bill in the committee weeks. I think there may have only been 10 bills that have been heard in the Senate over the, the, the committee weeks, and this was one of them. So I think we have the momentum. I think we have uh, uh, the support this year. I think the, 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 the overall environment with the governor is right, and I think uh, we do have the votes to pass it. So I'm very optimistic and excited about the, the chance of actually getting assigned to the law this year. Well, here's the deal. Every time Dr. Beach and Dr. Beach has come to, he's actually, hold on, I'm sorry. I said maybe that's Dr. Beach himself. Uh, I actually talk to Dr. Beach all the time. He's been to Sarasota. He's been visited this beach with me. He's visited, visited Siesta with me. He loves our beaches. He loves Florida beaches. We're consistently in the top 10 overall. 
Uh, I think Siesta right now is somewhere in the top 10. Uh, but it's a but every time we're in that top 10 rankings, whether it's Clearwater Beach, I think maybe number one right now, it brings about an immediate boon to the local economy. I'm talking about it's massive because when you're searching for places to go, there's so many different options available, but you want to go to the best. And uh, obviously, I think Siesta Key in, in Lido, both, and not only these two beaches, but Turtle Beach, Venice Beach, you know, the beaches in Bradenton, our entire coast is filled with top ranked beaches. And what happens is, is once you get those rankings, all the travel sites starts focusing on it and it creates an immediate boon. And that helps everybody. It helps the, the, the waitresses and waiters two blocks down. It helps our tourist development tax intake with, the, with people showing up to the hotels. And it's just, a, it's a massive win for the community. It's a massive win for the state. And it's in, in, in a state where we value freedom and opportunities. Florida should be a leader on this. And, uh, and I know from talking to Dr. Beach numerous times on this issue and walking these beaches with him and having him find uh, these cigarette butts that, like I said, uh, that, that, that are all over the place, that I think Florida's rankings will continue to move up if we have this, uh, uh, pass this bill and give local governments the opportunity to, to put these designations in place. Thank you all for I appreciate everybody for coming out.